I lived in a community, a spiritual cosmic community in Minas Gerais, Brazil. And then I suddenly met Dr. Joe online and he said that he was going to be in South America. So I went to, to Peru and I started to do the meditations daily. I got really dipped into his work because I've been doing almost, you know, the same work since ever, like 25 years ago. I had my own school uh, that started in 2000 in Venezuela, in Margarita Island. And I knew all these things about manifestation, but I, of course, I didn't have the science or all the work that Dr. Joe has. So I was fascinated and I got in deep and then I went to Niagara Falls and then I went back to my little town in Brazil, which didn't have not even uh, street lights. And then I was diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. And I was already deep in the work and everything, but thanks God I didn't start it, you know, saying, why me? I said, oh my God, this is for something. I have to go deeper. I thought I was deep enough, but I wasn't. So I had to go deeper. And it was already the pandemic, 2020. I'm talking about June, 2020. I got a special permission from the US embassy in Brasilia and got to flew to Houston where I had family and I crashed into my knees house and everybody all my family started you know doing whatever they had to do to take me into medical studies once I got there I said okay I'm I'm doing all they confirmed that I had breast cancer and all that and the size and but I kept on doing my work and I said I don't want any treatment yet let me keep on doing it. And then Dr. Joe started doing uh, events and I didn't miss one. I was there since November last year, 2020. And, but then in December, I had to do, I, I had to do, a, I went to a, through a surgery. And after the surgery, they decided they still insisted in doing chemo. And I said, well, that was a big decision I had to take. Going this way and live or die, or going this way and live or die, but with everybody saying, I told you so, I told you so, you should have gone to, through this. I took my decision and I decided to go the way I felt and not being uh, afraid of my environment, but creating my environment. So. I stayed and I said, okay, I keep on creating my new life. All my family was very mad at me, especially my, the one that I had nearby, the only person physically I had nearby, the other was, were all around the world or in Venezuela. And I still decided to, to keep on doing the work and believing in me. I kept on looking for a doctor could, that could give my, my counter cancers. I didn't even know what that was, but I knew it was a way that I could go to that, and I couldn't find any. Month after month, uh, then like in July or August, I said, okay, I'm done. I'm not staying in this city. Maybe this is my new life, but I don't have anybody around to talk to. I don't have any family or friends that speak the same language that I speak, which is this, the work. So if you don't give me somebody, well, I'll just go back to Venezuela. At least I have people there that, you know, are in the same uh, realm that I am. And at the next day, I found a person that said, I have a doctor for you and you can go here and you have to come with me to God's house in Houston. I went to God's house and I said, I'm not going to church. I mean, I'm way past that. She said, no, this is like Dr. Joe, but with you know, with Jesus. I said, okay, I can accept that. And I went there and I waited in the, I started meeting people, you know, that I could talk to and it was great and it is still great. That was five months ago. And in, in those months, I had to wait for this MD to receive me. 
and she did, and she did the test cancer stuff, markers, and I'm free of cancer, and I'm free of everything, and I'm just keeping on doing the work. For the last thing, I'm manifesting a boyfriend. 15 days ago, I'm, I have a boyfriend, we're in the same path, and I think I'm getting engaged, and all of you are invited. <laughs> I mean, this is a new life. I didn't even know where it was going to be, but I think that I'm going to stay here. Oh, and in the middle of all this, I only had a tourist visa. So I had to go back to Brazil or to Venezuela or wherever. And the US government decided to do for the first time ever, just for Venezuelans, they could stay if they were here with a, illegal statues. So I said, oh my God, I have to stay here. Well, I had to take a decision. I have taken a lot of decisions, but because the field has given me the opportunity and it always respects my definitely de decision, you know, my free will. And I have said yes, yes, and it surprises me and surprises me and I can say that I am not a young person, so maybe I inspire many women or men to find the love of their life no matter what age they have. And they can change their life no matter what age they have.